Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video update exclusively for pro members. Today is Friday, October 2nd. Hope everybody had a great week of trading. Taking a look at the markets, S&P 500 notably. Uh, pretty wild day today in the markets. Obviously we woke up and the market was down quite a bit with the uh, market getting spooked due to Donald Trump, our US president, getting the coronavirus and then uh, rallied all the way back up and then closed down about 22 points. So kind of a wild ride. All in all for the week, I mean, some really big swings, but you know, pretty much just kind of stayed inside this little consolidation box here. Still looking for the same thing that we've been talking about for the last few weeks, looking for one more leg down here in this market. Uh, we'll see if that comes true and starts coming to fruition next week. Uh, if, if price does push up back above this kind of consolidation level that we had here, uh, I think that third leg might be off and we might be looking back to all time highs, but playing a little bit to the downside at this point, got some short Delta. And so that is the plan. Uh, let's jump into the alerts for the week, starting with, let's see, Monday was the 28th. So let's get, let's start on Monday here. So the first trade we did on Monday was DIA. So we did a opening adjusting trade in DIA. So we had a couple different short call verticals on. We ended up taking one off after getting assigned, waited for the market to bounce back up, added this one back in. So now we're back to having two different uh, short call verticals in DIA. So let's take a look at those. Uh, one of them we've got three contracts with. Price is just outside of range here. And then the other one we've got four contracts. This is the one we just added back and it's pretty close to where we added it. No profit or loss at this point. Next trade, rolling adjusting trade in XBI. So we've got this short strangle, which has been adjusted into a straddle. Rolled that from October to November. We were under 21 days to expiration. So just wanted to roll that out, extend duration. Kept these strikes exactly the same. So we've got that straddle on still. Uh, price is kind of hanging out right here. So not too far off from where we rolled it. Uh, in XBI, we've also got a long call, which we don't do a lot of long calls, but with the price action that we're seeing in XBI had a big move up, kind of started pulled back. And so we're looking for a potential continuation in XBI and just kind of balancing our portfolio, adding a little long in there with some of our other shorts. Next trade, SMH did a rolling adjusting trade. We've got a short strangle in SMH, rolled this from October to November. We were under 21 days to expiration, just extending duration on that. Uh, SMH down 3% today, but we're pretty much dead centered. Now the implied volatility did has been elevated since then. So we're down a tiny bit, but we're dead centered in our risk profile graph. So in good shape there, just waiting for some more time to pass and theta to decay. Closing adjusting trade in SPY. So we had uh, an iron condor in our October cycle still. And so we were over 50% of max profit on that. So we just closed that out. We're still holding our other uh, iron condor in November. And you can see prices hanging out right here. So just waiting for some more theta decay in that one. Uh, opening trade in SPX. So we did a, uh, a new weekly double calendar already had one. So this was our second one that we had on at the time and we closed both of those out today. So I'll get to that here in just a second. Rolling adjusting trade in ZB. So we've got a short strangle in ZB that we went ahead and rolled out. We were close to 21 days to, uh, expiration, a little bit over, but we were had a really nice percentage of max profit. I can't remember exactly what it was, but went ahead and just rolled that out. So let's take a look at ZB. So this is basically a straddle. Our, our, our strikes are pretty tight here. We've just got the 78 put, 79 call. Price has now come down since we did that. But uh, so we need a little bit of up movement and really just more time to pass to benefit that trade. Trying to work back to profits in ZB. Closing trade in SPX. So we had a an iron duck. Price ran higher. So had very little chance of getting back to the duck head. So we just booked that, uh, booked about beak profit on the trade. In fact, exactly beak profit on the trade. Call spread was $5 wide, closed it out for five bucks. So we, uh, I think we made 165 bucks on that one. Uh, Natty Gas, rolling adjusting trade in Nat Gas. So we've got a short strangle in Natty that we rolled out. We were, we were pretty inverted and the strikes on the call side 
were so deep in the money that the the liquidity wasn't as great and they they were a little bit wide so what we did was we just rolled this and uninverted it so now we've got the 2.7 put 3.75 call price is hanging out right here even though it's pretty centered uh, we're down a few hundred bucks just because the implied volatility has really popped popped up in uh well pretty much in everything uh but including natty gas so we're just giving that more time Okay, so SPX, we had another iron duck that we closed out, booked a uh, booked another beak, actually a little bit over beak profit on this one with, with price running higher. And it was great timing because then the next day, this morning, market flushed lower and we added a new one on. So uh, worked out well on those iron ducks. Uh, here's, here's one of our weekly double calendars that we closed this morning. And let's just go to our, uh, so we did that. And we open up another iron duck. So let me just show you that, and then I'll talk about our weekly double calendars. Uh, so an SPX. Here is the duck that we put on. We did this one with 12 days to expiration, so it's pretty close to where we put it on. So just have, obviously, no risk to the upside and a huge buffer to the downside where we can potentially hit max profit. Uh, and then the weekly double calendars, let's just go to our... Uh, we closed both of those today. We closed one out first thing as the market started to, to push higher. I, you know, we had a we had a nice profit in one, and so I didn't want to lose that profit in case the market just continued to rally, which it did. So I went ahead and closed that one out. Booked three hundred eighty dollars on that one, and then later in the morning, this one was pretty well centered, and so we booked seven hundred and ninety five on that one. So great couple of trades there. Those are all of the alerts for the week. Let's take a look at some of our other positions. We've got a couple of long put verticals in ES. Uh, just holding that for that short delta exposure. Price is just outside of range on this one, so we need some downside to get back in there. And then this one is just inside range, so similar situation. Gold, we've got a couple of iron condors. One is hanging out here, kind of in the lower end of its range. And then we've got another one here. Both of these are in the same cycle. Uh, this one is more centered. We're up uh, about 78 bucks on that. So just looking for price to kind of ping pong around and maybe we can book profits on both of those. I showed you Natty Gas, Bonds, Apple. We've got a long put vertical here for some short delta. Price is just outside of range on Apple. Looking for some downside to get back in. Even with the market going down, John Deere has been very strong. We've got a, a short call vertical here with price a little bit out of range, but just holding that to see if we can get some, some downside action. As you can see, I mean, this, this thing has just been really strong, even with some of the downside that we've seen in the overall market. Uh, DIA, I showed you that. IWM. We've got a couple of short uh, short positions here, one of which is a bunker in December, pretty close to where we put it on, uh, looking for some downside to benefit that. Then we've got a couple of long put verticals, this one just outside of range. This one is just inside range, so again, just holding these for a little bit more downside. Same thing with QQQ, we've got a bunker and a couple verticals. Uh, there's one of the verticals, and here's the other. So just need a little bit more downside action to benefit those. Uh, let's see, SMH I showed, SPX, SPY, XBI, and lastly, XLK. So we've got a long put here in XLK. Um, this one expires. Uh, we've got, yeah, 14 days. So we'll probably do something with this next week. If we get a nice little flush down, then we'll just book that. If not, we'll uh, we'll, we'll close it anyway, potentially re reestablish with longer duration or consider rolling it, but probably just close it and wait to see what happens. Uh, we've also got a, a long put vertical, just need some downside to get back into range there. And then we've also got a bunker, which has got a little bit of profit, just looking for another flush lower uh, before we do anything with that. So that's all the alerts. That's all the positions. Uh, I sent out a kind of a recap of uh, day trading. If you want to check the Facebook group, we post daily recaps on the day trading stuff there. And then I also just recorded the monthly recap of performance for all of our core trades and our day trades. So you'll see that posted on the blog here in the next, uh, in the next day or two. So everybody have a fantastic weekend. We'll be back in the live trading room uh, to day trade on Monday. Look forward to that. Everybody have a good weekend. We'll talk to you soon.